All right, you guys, so today's episode of my Friday Thrift Find series is gonna be just slightly different than they have been previously. So buckle up, let's roll that intro and get right into today's episode. Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived in my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller mostly on eBay and Poshmark and this is another episode of my Friday Thrift Find series. I think we're on like 25 or 26 at this point. Um, so we're almost halfway done with the year. I started a little bit late. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much been at least one thrift haul a week for quite a while, half a year almost. And, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Like I always say, it helps keep me consistent with YouTube. Um, and that's really great for me with my YouTube goals. But anyways, today is a thrift haul, um, except it's, like I said, slightly different um, than my usual ones because I have two different hauls from two different stores. So um, I'm in the Rhode Island area and in um, just over the border in Massachusetts, we have a Savers and a Goodwill that are pretty close to each other. They're on the same strip um, and they're maybe like two or three minutes drive depending on traffic from each other, except the Goodwill, in my experience, sucks. And so I haven't been there in literal years until recently, um, and I picked up a few things. So I picked up a few things there and a few things um, at the Savers down the road, and the average cost per item was roughly the same, about $4.35. Um, between the two stores um, and I only had six items from the Goodwill so it wasn't enough to do a whole haul just on that so I decided to do kind of a battle of the thrift store which is better Goodwill or Savers I know my answer because I almost exclusively go to Savers unless I'm driving north to New Hampshire to go to the Goodwill bins which I haven't been to in ages um, but yeah let's get into it um, and let me know in the comments which store you think is better just based on these finds so I found stuff that I would pick up in both obviously otherwise I wouldn't have a haul from the Goodwill but I just think it's fun I have done similar videos like this in the past where I've had a spending limit, so I did like a $50 um, Goodwill versus Savers. This is not the same amount of stuff, but the same average cost of goods. So let's get right into it and we'll go with the Goodwill first. Okay, so everything in here um, is from the Goodwill. Six items, not crazy great. Um, but I did find obviously a few things for resale. This first piece is from a brand I had never found before. It's been on my list of things to look for, just never came across it. And they had like eight of these in the store. I only picked up one um, just to try it out and it happened to be the half off color, um, which I think was like yellow if I remember correctly, it's been like a week or so because I got these before I went away to Europe on vacation. Um, but let me know how this brand does for you. I've heard mixed reviews, but I like to try stuff out for myself and see how it does. This is Untuck It. Again, a women's piece. I know they pretty much almost always do men's items, but there are a few women's pieces on their website. This is from 2017. It has an interior tag with the date on it. And this is a full zip hoodie. It's just gray, long sleeve obviously, and it does have some pink accents, like this little piece of embroidered um, material right here. So yeah, I think I have this listed for $30. Um, that's where the comps seem to be at, so we'll see i don't know if i'll get the 30 since it's my first time selling this brand um so yeah if you have experience with it please let me know next i have a piece of athletic wear you guys know that i love selling active wear this is athleta size large so a great size it would be better if it was an extra large or a plus size but i'll take a large legging any day these are the be present tight they're from 2018 so not too old this brand I don't find very often in my area. Um, I did just find a dress recently though, and I think that was in last week's haul, but this is Mod Cloth. This is a size 1X, so a really great size. And it's a novelty print. It's got little multicolor jellyfish on it. It's 100% rayon. 
It's like a popover sleeveless blouse. This I probably should have left behind, um, but I love graphic tees, hello, um, and graphic band tees especially. This is from Waist Clothing. Not really sure, this is a size medium. I looked on their website and their tees are about $36 retail, so nothing crazy. Um, it is 100% organic cotton. I did see some comps on eBay for 50, but those had like concert tour dates on the back. This one does not, um, but it was also from Waste Clothing. And this is Radiohead. It's kind of hard to read, um, but the letters are all felted and they do have a little bit of wear on them um, just from like wash wear and the felting has come off. Kind of like similar to a burnout tee, but I don't know, I just love graphic band tees. Like I said, nothing on the back. This brand I've never found in the wild until today. I owned a piece and I recently listed it for sale. Um, it hasn't sold yet, but um, the only reason I knew about it was because I found it on Poshmark forever ago and bought it for myself. This is Brunette the Label, size extra small, small. Um, and even though it's Brunette the Label, it says blonde um, and it has a little rose that's embroidered above the word blonde. Um, I don't think anything crazy good on that, maybe $25 to $28. And the last thing that I got from the Goodwill is a pair of shoes, and these were marked at $12, not half off, they were blue. Um, and I never heard of this brand, but the comps look pretty good, $40 to $60 depending on the style. Um, it's gonna be hard to see in here. Um, here, this is better. Um, Calso. And the O is like, I think it's like a Danish um, O. They had O's like that in Norway when I just went there, um, but I believe this is a Danish brand. And these are called the Mana Clog. They are leather, um, which is nice. And these don't look like they were ever worn. Um, there is literally no wear to them at all. Um, and these are a size eight and a half US and a 39 in Euro. All my savers finds are in here and let's get started. So we ended with shoes over there. Let's start with shoes. Um, I only got one pair in each location. These are Vionics. This is a really good comfort shoe brand. I love picking it up. It does pretty well for me. Um, these are the Farah in Lizard. Um, they're like a blue uh, reptile print um i wouldn't say they were lizard but you know that's what they are see the blue with the texture and they have these silver medallions here on the strap nowhere really to the bottom either on these and these are size 10 so a really good size i did get one accessory um at that savers location this is i think like a tablet case um it does have a detachable crossbody strap. Um, this is Rebecca Minkoff. I don't often pick up her stuff. Every once in a while when I find it, um, I'll take it home, but um, it's like very fuzzy inside, which is, I guess, good to keep your tablet safe, but it does have some wear. There are some marks on it. I haven't done anything to this at all. Um, I haven't listed any of the Saver stuff yet. I only just listed the Goodwill stuff today. Um, also, I just noticed the lighting is changing a little bit because it's like 3.30 in the afternoon. I just finished up work for the day, so I do apologize. All right, let's get into some clothes. So like I said earlier, I love me a graphic tee. Um, the Mountain especially, which is what this is. This is the Mountain size extra large. It's got the screen printed tag, so it's not vintage, but it's got manta rays on it. I love picking up these tees. Sometimes they do sit for a while, but that's fine. Um, I just love them enough to let them sit. And this one says Sequest on the sleeve. This is a new brand to me, so let me know if you've ever heard of it, but the comps looked fantastic on this, um, around 50 to 60. Um, Kari Tra, or Tra, I'm probably butchering that. I'm sorry, this is a size large. And this is uh, kind of like an active wear, quarter zip, 
pullover and this really fun print here is another glimpse of the logo right here so yeah i'm excited to see how this does um and if it sells for 50 to 60 i'll definitely report back and let you guys know this is a personal favorite brand it's just spiritual gangster size medium it's hit or miss for me mostly and this also looks really small for a medium but it says kindness is magic this is a personal buy Liv wants this i might let her have it but otherwise it's going to be mine but it is snorlax um, and he is has fallen asleep with a dumbbell in his hand and it says snorflex i just thought it was really cute this tea um and I kind of left it, I guess, but I didn't. It came home with me. This is Grateful Dead, um, the band from Fenway Park. They did a show there a couple years back. Um, I just love the tie-dye. And again, like I said, with the Goodwill portion, I love me a graphic band tee. This is a size extra large. Um, but yeah, comps were okay on this. Nothing crazy, but people love their deadhead stuff. All right, we have another piece of activewear. This one is Zaya or Zaya, this little crescent moon logo. Um, these are a size four. It is an MLM, so just be aware of that. I picked these up mostly because they are camo. They are a cropped um, style though, so crops usually, usually don't do as well for me. This is the only thing from the Savers haul that I have listed already. I just did it before I came and filmed this video. This is Patagonia size large. This is from spring of 2019, so it's not too old. And this is called the Squeaky Clean Pocket T-shirt. Just as a single pocket right here. And the color I think is like stone blue stripe or something like that. It's blue and then it has like a very light heathered gray stripe. If you can't tell by my voice, I am still a little bit sick, so um, it is what it is. Uh, these I got because they're new with tag, American Eagle. They were originally $60. They are the Next Level Stretch Curvy High Rise Shorty Size 8. Let me see if I can figure out when they were from. Um, April of 2020, so not too old. They do have the new tag which is not cursive and it doesn't have outfitters it just says american eagle slight distressing they are cuffed um and intended to be that way it is stitched here um and like i said they are new with tags so i figured the curvy fit um would be enticing for someone who is curvy and wants a good, nice pair of shorts and the last piece I have to share with you guys today, it's been so long since I've found this brand and I've been like repeating it to myself as like a mantra every time I've gone into the thrift stores lately and I just hadn't found it until this day. Um, this is Smart Wool size medium in women's. I love selling this brand. A lot of the times when I find it, it has holes. It does still sell. Um, if it has holes, even big ones, um, so I almost always pick it up and this is just a blue short sleeve. Obviously it's lightweight merino wool. Um, where's the little logo? And here is the little logo again down here. So that's everything that I have to share with you guys today from my Goodwill versus Savers thrift haul. Again, about $4.35 roughly um, for each item from either store. Um, so let me know which haul you thought was better, Savers or Goodwill. Uh, I like the Savers haul better. I'm comfortable at Savers. I usually find brands that I know and love there, whereas at the Goodwill, hmm, it's mostly miss for me. Um, I don't know if it's because more resellers in my area should go there first and so things are picked over or I just picked the wrong days to shop there. I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's all I have to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here and my weird little family on the internet. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.